Good morning, guys. How are you guys doing? Sorry, I've been off for a while now. But, um, for those of you who are new in this channel, my name is Fina. Um, I have uh, four girls. I'm a married woman with four girls, and devil decided to tempt me and um i've been experiencing some kind of rejection in my marriage because i don't have a male child but it's okay things are getting well little by little my husband had to seize my car a lot of things changed so why i've been away for some time now is because uh, some weeks ago I was on my way going to my place of work and I had to enter bike because a customer was waiting for me. And although I do enter bike sometimes, not I'm not always on KK. It depends on how fast I want to get to where I'm going to. So unfortunately I I fell down from bike that very day. It was on Friday. Um, to God be the glory, me and the baby we are doing well, but it wasn't easy, you know, watching yourself. I know that though I had pains, I, I was in pain, I had to go to hospital and all that, but now I'm okay, I'm okay. I just felt like doing a vlog today, that is why I'm just waking up. I'm just waking up and I say... Let me carry you guys along. I want to go and bathe now. I just woke up. I want to go and bathe so that I'll go to shop. I'm a business woman. I sell plumbing material. And uh, I'm going to carry you guys along today. I have a headache. I'm presently pregnant. And it was that pregnancy that resulted today. I asked him, actually, my husband has been taking all this while. But it's okay. It's a matter of time. I believe God has something bigger for me. Thank you and stay tuned. I will go prepare now. And I hope you are going to enjoy my day because I have to trek down to the roadside before entering the to cycle, which is Keke, to my place of work. I don't drive anymore. So for now, I exercise myself day and night. You can see those that know me before will know that I'm slimming down, but it's okay because I don't even need this fatness. Thank you and stay tuned. <laughs> Guys, I'm done bathing and I decided to show you my to me for the first time. Hmm. So big, right? <laughs> ah, it's time to dress up so that we can go. See your bone cut head. <laughs> yeah. Guys, I came back yesterday and I I was told by the hairdresser that my children have lies on their hair. So I had to ask my sister to go and bab her hair. I will even bab my own. I swear. If you see, you see that the neat is on it. Even as she bab it. But I found out a secret on how to cure it i've been applying it on my girls because they say they don't want to bab their own hair yeah i've been applying it since that yesterday they have gone to school when they come back i will still show you guys and you'll see how far i can tell that the remedy i'm using is working you see so I'll carry you guys on the can along and if it works, I will also share it with you guys so that in case if you come across anything like that, you will know the way out. Thank you. See Molo. Hey! Ugly girl. You are even in Fanta for baby boy. Wow. Yes, dear. Yes. Your teacher said your hair is beautiful. Come up. Oh, my baby. How are you? Mm. You're welcome. What is your name? What, Nanny, is, what is your name? Chine. Chine. Yes, hello. hello. What is your name? Bernice. Bernice, are you shy? What is your name, madam? Wanda. See your teeth. Mm. What is your name? Stephanie. Ah, Agbaya. 
<laughs> Are you shy? Yeah, welcome back for us. Thank you. Yeah, they are gonna pull off. There is you. Guys, you see? Come close so that everybody could see from there. Let me see. Baleno Zo. So, it's gonna be my phone is ringing. You see the needs here. Yesterday, I couldn't even video because when I came back, I saw there is lights all over. I was so confused and I made my research. I found out that uh, with olive oil, you can be able to kill it. So I was like, let me just apply the medication first, the remedy, and see if it will work. Right now, see this one. Right now, they are not much again. So, but they need the eggs are still here. So I'm going to apply more today, you know, to make sure that the whole thing dies off. Thank God for the kind of simple hairstyle they made. So it's easy to, to do something to it. Let me see your own hair. Watch them. Uh -huh. This one has a lot of needs on it. As you can see, these are the eggs. Leave there, cheese in the These are the eggs. They say they don't want to lose their, their hair. So I just had to do that research to be sure if there is any remedy. Because I could remember then why we are still very small. Once you have it, the only result is to bump your hair. But for us in the house that are not making our hair, we are going to bath, even though, even me myself, I'm going to cut it off. Because with the hair, I don't think if the olive oil will be able to penetrate. Where is the olive oil? Olive oil that applied on their hair. And I'm going to see apply again so that those... So this is what I do. I'll just have to, this is the olive oil. I'll pour it on the cover. You can never be like I'm not going to be in the after that. I'm not a poo Go and poo now. <laughs> so I just need to apply to make sure that the oil goes inside. You know, they weaved their hair. The thing really worked. Seriously, had it been, I remember that I would have videoed it, but it was last night. And we didn't have lights. So you and Niger, I did. There was no light that yesterday. There was enough lies on it. In short, the big and small ones. I was even scared. Though lately, I've noticed that the kids were always scratching their hair, and they they used to bob hair like me before. This is just the second time they are making their hair since they started making their hair. So even the address I said it, it might not be from saloon that they contacted it. Maybe someone, maybe from school or someone that is staying with me that is even Barbie, that even those Barbie do have it as well. And they can easily contact it through home or clothing or anything like that. Or maybe in school, I play, no children. They can have head to head contact, and from there it will just enter. Once one person in the family contact it, the probability of other people getting it is very, very high. So that is why, because I was wondering, these kids have been babbing their hair since over a year now. So, how come this is just the second time? And the way it was that yesterday, it's not as if it just came. Because there was a lot of it. I killed and killed and killed. I couldn't even sleep last night. Because I had to watch and see whether the olive oil is working. And it's as if the the olive oil were chasing them out. Because I saw them even on the pillows. On the bed where they were lying down. But my happiness is that today... You can only see few. Just as I've showed you people, it's more of the eggs that you see now. And I was told that if you allow the egg to die as well, they will hash 
and then start up where they stopped you know that is i had to keep applying this olive oil on their head or till the whole thing dies off so if you come out if you come across anything like this maybe your kids your friends kids or because it's mainly on children or your neighbors have it i can assure you that with the, uh, this uh, olive oil you can get rid of them so quick i only applied it yesterday and i love the result i am seeing and i believe that it will give me 100 percent of what i want thank you so much when i'm done apply your mama come is it a fantastic Guys, see this one? I'm going to show you very well. Mm. You see? It's as if it's dead already, sir. You see it? Those days when we were in the village, this is how my mom used to kill it. But it's dead already. It's not moving, as you can see. It's not moving. It's dead. You see it? So the olive oil is really choking them up. Because from my research, they say that olive oil will help to choke them up and they will die. So it's really working. It's really working. I wish I was able to snap it or to video it that last Can night. Come? You poor have would have seen what no, I'm saying. Come, let's, because come there was come. enough, a lot of it on their head. A lot. What's it doing? See another one here can you see it you got another smaller one and they are they are not moving if you can see they are not moving this one is not moving which means they are dead but i still need to get rid of the eggs as well look at another one here you see so i have to apply the oil for the eggs to die off so that they will not hurt you. I don't want it to be cool. Because it makes them so uncomfortable. They will keep scratching. If you notice that your kid is scratching and scratching their head. Please check it. It might be this thing. What is that? For me or baby boy? You brought Fanta for baby boy. Yeah, give me now. Let's have drink soon. <laughs> for baby boy, Abby. I should give baby boy. Baby boy is still in the stomach. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Good girl. <laughs> this, this is my my third girl. You see? See this one here? Come close. Wait, let me even check the hole. Wow. She said the, the egg is much on your egg. See, you see the eggs. That is what I'm trying to get rid of. Oh God! I'm bending my for there. I do it, do Wow! See, come close. Hey, the camera. Is it showing? Can you see? It's, it looks like dandruff. Is it showing? Mm. But it's not dandruff, oh. that is the egg. Dandruff, when you scratch it like this, it will go off. But when it comes to this one, it doesn't go off. Oh. See? You see? Oh, it's well. What do you think? Mommy, it's not out too. It's too. Are you right now? Why are you people, are you people writing on the floor? Are you right it? Let me see. Uh -uh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Good. Wow. Yeah. Two and two. 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 Two two. Two and two. Two and two. Two Two and two. and two. Two and and Okay, you're writing to 250. Yes. Oh, yeah, no. Tina, how old are you? Two and two. 
Two years good. That is good. What class are you? Play group. Play group. Are you still in play group? You are in what? Pre nursery. Yes, you are in pre nursery. No more in play group. They are writing 32, not 23. Clean it. It's 23, not 32. Mama, how old are you? How old are you? Four years. Four years. What class are you? That's one. That's one. That is good. And you're writing 200 to 201 to 250. Okay. Well done. I'm doing well. <laughs> Hi, guys. You're welcome back to my channel. Guys, please, I could not vlog as I promised. I just got back now and um, I decided to rest. I couldn't video as I promised. A neighbor of mine volunteered to take me to my place of work and get into shop today to go be the glory. We are busy throughout. So there was no time for me to do the vlog. But at least, um, I still carried you guys along, even though I wanted you to see how stressful or how enjoying uh, my days used to be, you know, taking care from one place to the other and all that. Maybe one of these days I would do that. And uh, again, um... There's something I want to share with you guys. Sorry, I'm resting my back on the chair. I'm, I'm tired. As you see, that is what I had to show you guys. I'm sitting down with my big dummy. So, the thing I wanted to share is this. Um, my hobby came to me some weeks ago, you know, to make peace with me. That he wanted us to reconcile oh, to me. I don't even believe that we are still having issues. I just see whatever that is happening to be part of life. And I believe that there is something God is working out on. But the truth is that our relationship has not been the way it used to be. You know? Everybody is just trying to maintain his or her own path. You know, be on your own and all that. But after talking to me, I accepted because... Seriously, to me, there is nothing happening. I told him there is no problem. That it's okay. Well, I don't, I'm sorry, but at the long run, I... Because I have this intention of getting care for myself. You know, because I cannot continue suffering, you know. Somehow it's stressful. I must, I must not lie to you. It's stressful. And from our place to the roadside, it takes me like 30 minutes. Though on a normal day, it will take you like 15 to 20 minutes. But with my big stomach, the way I walk, you know, I, I can't fasten my walk that much. So it takes me like 25 to 30 minutes to get to the roadside, side. And sometimes it takes time before you can see the cycle that is going to your side. Most of the times I used to take like two or three just to fasten my movement and that is the reason why sometimes I do take bike so take me direct to where I'm going to and secondly I'm spending more than I'm supposed to because the money I'm paying for all this thing if I'm to use it to fuel a car it will take me a long way so I decided that so far I have little with me let me go and get any car I can afford you know to ease things for myself so when he came for that i used the opportunity to tell him that it's okay but look at my plan i want to get a car for myself uh, so far you said we should make peace i should at least tell you that this is my intention but to my greatest surprise my brothers and sisters when i told him about this it was a different reaction i saw entirely you know he wasn't happy at all. He, he was shouting, you know, telling me that he won't take it. So, to me, I was like, okay, severally you have passed me by the roadside. 
trekking with my condition and all you do is to hunt for me look at me at the mirror and go your way his car now maybe after this i'll go down and video his car because he's been there since he seized the one i'm using he's using the one i was using now and his own car is parked in the compound then nobody's using it i told him that so you said you want peace there is another car outside that nobody is using and you see my condition when you seized my car you gave me your own i was using it but with time i don't know whether his age i don't know whether it's because of how big my tummy is i don't know i don't know but as my tummy was growing bigger whenever i sit on that car for a long time my waist will start disturbing me and that is the reason why i don't take taxi since i dropped i packed that car i've not been using taxi i will either use bike or keke the one that will bring up my waist i don't sit on taxis because they're all all these small small cars so i don't feel comfortable on it and since then i packed the car i told you the reason why i packed it that i'm not okay with a small car it makes me so uncomfortable and it causes me pain and you ignored it he didn't mind he did not bother about my condition you left it there for over two months now the car has been parked there you're using my own car and now i told you that i want to get a car for myself you are saying you won't take it you don't approve of it guys somehow i need an advice because i want to stop only go and get that car seriously I want to go and get that car for myself and having the second thought i really don't want this to keep going i really don't want this issue to continue but the truth is that i'm the one suffering here and i'm a bit confused i don't know please i i need your advice should i just continue this softness <sighs> or i should get the car for myself i don't know because somehow I just want to go ahead without minding what it will cost, the outcome of it. But somehow I feel like I should just let go, you know. Please talk to me. I, I need your advice. Thank you. Mommy, uh, this is the car. No, that's what he me. Sorry.